Okay, in this video, we will be balancing these two chemical reactions. These two problems are fairly difficult, and so we will use a TI Inspire CX cost in order to determine these particular values. And before we even use the calculator, we need to do a couple of steps. First, I'm going to call this term right here A. Ultimately, it will be a number, like what we've done before. I'll call this term B, this term C, this term D, and this term E. Now I'll look at the particular elements that we have. So we have Cu, we have H, we have N, and we have O. We have these four elements that we want to balance. And so now I look in this line here, what term has Cu? And that's just going to be the A term right here. So A is equal to. Now here, where do we have Cu? We have a Cu right here again. So that's going to be C. C because this is a C. Next, we'll do H. Where do we have H here in the reactant side? We have it for B. So we say B is equal to. Now where do we have H here? In this case, we have two H's for E. So we say 2E. Now we do N. Where do we have N for the reactants? We have it here for the B term, so B is equal to. Where do we have N here? We have 2 for C, so we call it 2C plus, we have an N here also, so plus D. Finally, O. Here we have three O's for B, so we say 3B, and we see O here. We have 3 times 2 is 6, so we have 6 O's for C is equal to 6 C plus we have 1 O for D plus 1 O for E. Okay, so once we have it in this form right here, we can go to the TI Inspire CX cost and plug it in and solve for these uh, five variables A, B, C, D, and E. So let's do that. So I will go to algebra, I will go to solve systems of equations, and I will go solve systems of equation one. Um, I had how many equations? We had four equations and five variables. So four equation, and in this case, we have five variables. So we have A, C, B, D, and E. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I just write the equations. Let's just go back quickly. So these are the equations I will write. So the first equation is A is equal to C, then B is equal to 2E. So we will write this down. A is equal to C, and B is equal to 2 times E. Then we do the third equation. B is equal to 2 times C plus D. And lastly, 3 times B is equal to 6 times C plus D plus E. Hit enter. And this is the equation. So A is equal to 3 fourths. C1, B is 2C1, C is 3 fourths C1, and D is, and D is 1 half C1, and E is just C1. Um, because whenever we balance equations, we do not want to have a fraction. In this case, what is our biggest denominator? That's going to be a 4. So I'm going to multiply everything by 4. So the A term will be 3 over 4 times 4, so it will be a 3. And I'll write down here, actually. So A will be 3. B will be, so times it by 4, you get 8. C will be times it by 4, you get 3. And D will be times it by 4, you'll get 2. And E times it by 4, you'll get 4. So E is equal to 4. And now we will write A is equal to 3, B is 8, C is 3, D is 2, and E is 4. So let's write this down and let's actually check. So I'm going to remove these particular variables and replace. So we said well, we said A was 3, I'm going to replace this A with 3, B we said it was 8, C we said it was 3, D we said it was 2, and E was 4. So let's do this. So C, so A was 3, B was 8, C was 3, D was 2, and E was 4. And let's just check. So we have three CUs, three CUs, that's good. Uh, we have eight H's, we have eight H's, we have eight N's, we have two, 
Then we have then we have two times three six, so six plus two is eight. That's good. How many O's? Eight times three is twenty-four. Here we have six. Six times three is eighteen. Let's write this out. So we have eighteen plus two plus four, which is twenty-four. So this is nice and balanced. And just to prove that the TI inspired CX cost can can do what we're doing, and it's not just a coincidence. We'll do this problem also. So same exact procedure. So we have H, I, we have an O, and we have F, E. And we also have C, L. And now we'll write the unknown, which is A, B, C, D, and so on. So we can say this is A, B, C, D, E, and F. So now we're gonna do the H term. So where do we have H in the reactant? We have A here and C. So A plus C is equal to, where do we have H here? We have two Fs, two F. Next, we'll do I. So where do we have I? We have one for A plus two B is equal to, where do we have I? We have one here, that's for E. Next, oxygen. So we have three A's, nothing else here, is equal to, we have two F's, two F's because of this. Next, Fe, so we have one here for B, is equal to, we have a D, that's it. So next, Cl, one for C, is equal to, now we have a few. So we have three D, three D plus, E. And we'll do the exact same thing on the TI Inspire CX cost. I would pause the video here and maybe write this down. Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we will hit algebra, we will hit solve systems of equation, we'll hit one. Um, we had how many equations? We had H, I, O, F, E, and C, L. So we had five. So we had five equations. And how many variables we had? We had A, we had B, we had C, we had D, we had E, we had F. So we had uh, six variables, so hit OK. Now we simply copy down the equation. Let me quickly go back. These were the equations that we're simply just copying down into the TI Inspire CX cost. So A plus C is equal to 2F. Next, I, A plus 2B is equal to E. Next, 3 times A is equal to 2 times F. Very important that you actually put the multiplication sign here. I um, actually forgot it here, so let me go back. And now we will do the last two. B is equal to D, and C is equal to three times D plus E. Let me make sure I put the multiplication sign. Um, that's good, hit enter, and this is what we get. I just realized I made a typo. For the O term, it should be actually just F, not 2F. That was uh, my bad. I need to adjust what I wrote in the calculator too. So with this adjustment, simply hit enter. And this is what we're getting. So the biggest denominator here would be 15. So every term here, I need to multiply by 15. And so this will mean is A will equal times 15. So 15 divided by three is five. So our A term will be five. B is equal to times 15. So this will give us four C times by 15. So we would get multiplied by 15 for the C term. So actually 15 divided by three is five. Five times five is 25. So C will be 25. Next D, D is equal to. So multiply by 15, divide by 15, simply four. E, so cancels out, so you get 13. And so now we're simply gonna replace these numbers back into the original um, equation. And also one more I forgot, um, we had F. F was just one, multiply by 15, you get 15. So F term will be 15. And so now we simply replace. And so now I'm simply gonna replace what we got from the calculator into this equation. So replace A with the A value, B with B value, and C with C value. And so let's do that. So A we said was five, B we said was four, C we said was 25, D we said was four, and E we said was 13, and finally um, F was 15. So now let's check like what we did earlier just to prove that what we're doing is correct. So how many H's do we have? We have 
5 here and a 25 here. So we have 30 H's. 15 times 2 is 30. H balances. I. 5 times 1 is 5. So let's write this down. 5. And then 4 times 2 is 8. So plus 8. So we have 13 I's. How many do we have here? Just here. 13 times 1. 13. Good. Next. O. So 5 times 3 is 15. 15 O's. How many O's do we have? 15 times 1. 15. Next, Fe. So we have 4. And we have a 4 here. So Fe is balanced. I. We have. We already did I. And just finally, CL. 25 CLs here. We have 13 plus uh, 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 13 is 25. So all of these terms are balanced. So if you can use any calculator and you can use a TI Inspire CX cost, um, balancing very difficult chemical equation can be more manageable. And that's all we need to do for these two problems.